In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these four sliding options in Infographic Slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put four options with different colors and here I have added one oval shape along with the icon. When I click, the option goes up and then you can see the title and the detailed text. And when I click second one, it comes down and it will reveal the option and the title. Then comes the third and the fourth. Likewise, I have created one more slide where I have put the option A, B, C, D. So when I click A, the text will come, then B, the text will come at top, and C, then D. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. However, with older version also, it's possible. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Go to Insert Shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangles. Draw the rectangle depending on your requirement. And you can see the small orange point. Just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved. And here the width you can make it as one. All right, and then shape outline, make it no outline and you can give any color of your choice. So I'm just going to put it here exactly in the middle. So you can go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the oval shape and click it here. So you can see here the height and width is one only and then shape outline i'm going to make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white all right and i'm going to place it here and if you want to add a kind of some shadow effect for that press ctrl d to duplicate right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill here i'm going to add two stops only okay so one stop will be white color and make sure the transparency to 100 percent and the other one is the gray color all right and then i'm just going to put it like this press ctrl d to duplicate once again and here now i'm going to make it a solid fill and i'm going to give a black color and increase the transparency here all right then go to the effects under soft edges increase the size all right and if you want you can just hold the ctrl shift key increase the size a little bit more and then i'm just going to put it like this and send this to back so you can see a small shadow effect now i'm going to select all these oval shapes and press ctrl g to group it all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this option hold the ctrl shift key add it here and select this two again hold the ctrl shift key you can add it here and if you want to give equal spacing between this one you can do this particular also selection i can just select this one and go to the shape format align distribute horizontally okay so if you have done like this then you need to adjust this properly okay so it's equal spaces has been given then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the second one and bring this down with the help of the arrow key and this also i'm going to select and bring this to down all right then let me just add some text here add detail text here all right center align i'm going to put it here and hold the control shift key and drag it here press ctrl d one for this one here at the bottom and hold the ctrl shift key drag this one here all right so we have got four different options available now and if you want to add some icons you can go to icons and you can add the icons here okay or if you want you can add some any other uh, option number a b c d if you don't have the icons you can add the option a b c d for example let me just type it a center align make it bold increase the size and i'm going to give some gray color and i'm going to put it here exactly press ctrl d to duplicate 
let me just put it here control D this will be here make sure that you have to align properly and this will come here and so this is A this is B C and this is D and again you need to group this one this one and this one control G all right the oval shape and the text you need to group it all right now you can just give any other color of your choice maybe i can give a different color of green light blue and some other color here all right and if you want you can give some shadow effect for this select all the shapes go to the effects go to the shadow and select either of these okay maybe inside left so it looks like this all right so the design is ready now it's time to do the animations so go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one and it should come down for that add animation scroll down and you can see here the line here click this one it comes down something like this you can see here then if you see this point just drag this point by holding the shift key all right so if i play it comes like this and I can just double click this one and I can smooth and smooth start make it zero bounce and a little bit timing you can make it fast and click OK so it comes like this all right actually the text I should have given the other way around this text should come here all right this text should come here all right sorry for that let's reverse it okay so once this comes down the text should reveal okay you can make it appear or fade or whatever or wipe whichever or i can just go to the more entrance effects i can give stretch also click ok stretch it should happen from top and it should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here now let me just select this part click on animation painter and click it here so it's, it's going down instead of going down I have to select this small orange point the red point here hold the shift key and put it up here all right now I'm going to select this one it's pretty simple and here select the animation for this one I need to copy the animation for this also so if I play you can see here it comes the text it goes there comes down and goes up so only the thing is just you need to add the same animation effect here I'm just going to put the animation it should go here now this animation I'm copying it here it should go here and this animation comes here let's see you can see here the text comes C and D so simple isn't it